What's up? Welcome back to another video. Back on the Tongariro. Every, it may not look like it, but everywhere around here is raining. This is I've chosen this spot just because of the weather. But it seems everyone else had that idea because I've been to like four car parks and they've all been absolutely full. It's like 10 o'clock and I finally find finally found a stretch of water that might work. Might even swing a fly down here and then nymph up this way a little ways. Hopefully get onto some fish. But I'll show you the rig that I'm using. Try to do my best to show you guys what I'm up to. Catch some fish, have a good time. Nala's with me. I don't know if you can see her down there. Go! Huh? Oh, I was gonna fish up through here. This guy's just jumped in in front of me. Well, that's gonna change my strategy. I'm not gonna nymph away from this guy. I'm going to nymph up to him so he doesn't come down any further. Dude, he's walking downstream. Because there's no... Oh, there's a couple of fish down in there, actually. Because there's no... 101s, I'm using a different fly. It feels heavy, but I just... I've got no... I haven't, still haven't caught a fish on it, so I don't have a huge amount of confidence in it. See, it looks like there's a couple of fish down there, quite close in, like down... I'm in amongst them right there, it feels like. Fish. Did not set the hook on him very well. Not huge, but real scrappy. Super scrappy. Oh, that reel's full of sand. I could tell by the way that fish ate that he actually came up high in the water to eat that, so I'm definitely, my flies are definitely just going over the fish in there. Someone commented that it's not a Trout Hunting NZ video without a squeaky reel. I'm staying true to that today. Nice fish, very healthy. It's on that fly that I just talked about that I don't have. Leave it. Oh, great fish. Yeah, big fat hen. Kind of hard to see there, but really fresh fish, beautiful fish. And I'll show you that fly this guy out. Oi, what are you doing? Don't go. Oi, hold it. Alright, so cool fish. Let me find that fly and show you. It's called a Johnny Gummer Tactical or something like that. The other fly that was on there is uh, the Habanero. Uh, which the fish did not eat this time. So first fish on the board, happy about that. Didn't take long, it was about 10 minutes of fishing. I was kind of, I'd pretty, in my mind I'd pretty much given up on that spot because that guy came and messed around with it. The way I set the hook on that fish and the way it happened, I could tell that, that fish had actually risen quite high to eat the fly. So I'm definitely too light, so I'm gonna put a little bit of split shot on and fish through. I can see a couple of fish down in there. That reminds me, I get asked a bunch about what glasses I wear. These ones here are Smith Barrows, so that's the frame. And the can't see it. The lens, the lens is chroma. Where's the sun? The lens is chroma pop brown, and that's just. I've got different lenses for different things, but the chroma pop brown is just a real good all-round lens. So if it's sunny, it's going to get cloudy later in the day. That's still going to be good. But these are the ones I wear: Smith, Barra, chroma pop brown. There is actually a link in the description if you're from New Zealand. And you can go buy yourself some. All right, so I've got exactly the same rig on. I may have to change the depth because I've cut. I've put a reasonable bit of split shot on there. And then, yeah, I can still see one. Fish. Oh, man, why can't I help? <laughs> Suck at fishing. Oh, get off. Another rainbow. It looks like it's eating that that category three fly, the, the Johnny Gummer Tactical. This is a better fish. Better fish. Not fighting as hard, but I can tell he's bigger. Yeah, definitely on the Johnny Gummer. Oh, oh no, now he's wrapped up. 
Oh god. This could make it interesting. Ah, he's come right. Oh, in and out. Oh yeah. That's oh, about the same actually. Oh, maybe a little bit. Alright, the other way now. Oi, stop poking it. Evex. Evex. Nice hen. Really fresh silver. Good, he's a great fish. Good to be out catching them. Alright, let's let him go. See a fishy. Stop poking the fish. Good dog. So that's two fish in about 20 minutes. It's uh, looking up. I was getting a bit disappointed with how many people I was finding throughout the river and then bumping into that guy. While I've got you here, let me remind you of the competition that I announced in, in last week's video. So if you go back one video, you'll see this, but running a competition, if I can get to 40,000 subscribers within six weeks, I'll fly someone from New Zealand to fish with me. And if I can get 50,000 within 2020, I'll fly someone from Australia to fish with me. Uh, helps, helps the channel. I just love it. It's good fun. I love doing it. I'm never going to stop. But I've got goals and I'd love to meet them. So if you could help me out by clicking that subscribe button, that would be super cool. Alright, so I've just swung all the way down to here. I've already, like I've swung through what I would have considered to be a very likely spot, which is just in here. I didn't get a bump or anything. So I'm going to stop here and nymph back up to this point. I can see some fish here. Oops, just dropped my caddis. Can't quite get them to chew on anything. One of them looks very big. Still on the, what do you call it, special. Johnny Gummer special. Now, I haven't had much luck on the habanera today, but I'm gonna try that. I can definitely see a couple of fish. This one might be a little short. This one will probably touch the bottom. Ooh. Going past fish there. And another fish there. Two fish, three fish. What is wrong with these fish? How am I not catching these things? How am I not catching these things, guys? Definitely going past two fish. That's got to be a fish. Yeah. Yeah. Finally. Dude. That was hard work. That was like, I mean, I probably edited out most of that. That was, oh, that's a great fish. That's a great fish. Leave it. Leave it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's a really good fish. Chill. Chill fish. Fish chill. Oh, oh. Just about reversed out of the net. All right, first jack. Probably the biggest fish of the day. Super nice fish. Glad to have caught her, him. Yeah, super nice jack. See you later, buddy. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Yeah, so that ate that Johnny Gummer fly. All three fish today have come on that Johnny Gummer fly, so probably a new favorite. Um, so it's a great, there's not actually any 101s left because of this whole COVID thing and supply chain. I think that's the reason anyway. It probably sticks a little faster to be honest because it's got a small, slimmer profile, so really nice fly. Probably keep those in the box from now on and uh, see what other colors they come in. 100% see a fish. Hando. 100% see two fish. First one is right there. Second one is right there. Why aren't they eating it though? Why are these fish so challenging today? Three fish, right past them. Boom. You suck, yeah, fish. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, stay on. I can't see this guy. Is he small? What is he? What is that? Why can't I see this fish? He's not small because he's really strong. Oh, yeah, there he is. Really silver. Oh, I come off. What a punk. Dab nabbit. 
I wonder what fly he ate. I'll never know. I can see a few fish out here. I swang another little bit down there. Still no touches on the swing. I found a 101, so I'm going back to a 101 just because I love them. But I can see quite a few fish just uh, swinging around out there. So we'll see if we can entice one of them. Fish. Further over down deeper, the old trick. That's a good fish. It, I think this is a great fish. Feels really heavy. Dude, this is a tank. Oh no, that is huge. That was freaking huge. That could have been a brown. Oh, you're kidding me. I don't know if that was a brown or not, or a huge rainbow. Like, I'm, when I say big, that thing was like as big as a big brown. So I'm assuming it was a brown. But I think it was a rainbow. It was, oh, I can't believe it. That thing was huge. That thing was huge. I think if that was a rainbow, it's probably the biggest rainbow I've... I think it was, yeah. It's either like an eight pound brown or the biggest rainbow I've caught from this river. Thing was massive. Fish. Good fish. Good fish. Dude, there's some good fish in here this year. This is really solid fish. This one here could for sure be fish of the day. Please do not tow me downstream for miles. No, it's not fish of the day. It's a jack. Leave it. Oh. Nice fish though. They're all good fish. It's actually the skinniest fish of the day, but they're fighting hard. Again, the gummer, gummy, gummer, Johnny Gummer special. Skinniest fish of the day, nice jack. Kind of a bit, yeah, stop smoking the fish now, that's weird. All right, see you, buddy. Oh, she got you. All right, dudes, this is gonna be the end of the video. I just flew my drone into a tree. I was trying to get some sick B-roll for you fellas. Uh, but I just I just flew it straight into a tree. I can see it. It's way up the top though I can't even get to the bottom of it to shake the tree. It's a big foot. It's a big tree. Anyway long story I'm gonna replace the drone. I kind of wanted to do it anyway, but I Didn't really want to spend that much money this month, especially after I've just brought this camera here So it's gonna be like I'd say like four thousand dollars on camera equipment this month expensive month to be on YouTube So subscribe and that helps me maybe afford a bit more of a new drone who knows I uh, help the channel grow help the videos do better and uh, yeah, I really appreciate each and every one of you taking the time out to watch this. I will catch all of you in the next one. Peace.